Rod Carew, without question, is one of the two great hitters that uh, I've seen in my time. You know, I try to use the whole diamond to hit. You know, I hit the ball to left, up the middle, left center, right center, and pull the ball on the right field line. And could have the highest average in the majors since Ted Williams hit 388 back in 1957. Rod is also the first player to carry a 400 average into July since Williams did it 36 years ago. Possibly the finest pure hitter to play the game in recent years. I go up there and I know that the guys don't think that I'm an easy out. You know, they're going to uh, do everything they can to keep me from getting the base hit and, you know, hurting the, their chances of winning. For anyone to try and win a batting uh, title, uh, you have to be able to have good eyes and you have to know what you want to do uh, before you go up to the, to the batter's box. Uh, you know, you have to have good speed. Uh, take myself, you know, I might go up there and, you know, I bunt two or three times a game because uh, I am a, I'm an accomplished bunter and I work hard on my bunting in spring training because it's part of my game. Uh, if you want to be a good hitter, you have to work on it. You can't just go out there and expect uh, things to happen. You have to really go out there and uh, bear down and be aggressive and uh, do the little things that uh, is going to make you a batting uh, champion. For a stretch of about 10 or 12 games, Rod Carew, to me, was a complete one-man gang. For Rod Carew, hitting 300 is average. But after June 13th last season, Carew's average was 215. Hitting a torrid 359 over his last 93 games, Carew finished over 300 for the third consecutive year. Some people call Carew a singles hitter, but how many singles hitters can do this? Hit the ball into the upper deck at Yankee Stadium. Such prodigious clouts are usually reserved for the likes of Babe Ruth or Mickey Mantle, but for Carew, it's just another base hit. Rod Carew continues to be a problem only to pitchers and an inspiration to other California batsmen who marvel at how simple hitting can be. The people's perennial All-American letterman, Rod Carew. Tied in the ninth against the Twins, Carew demonstrates the proper use of power in stress situations. Batmaster Rod Carew extended his hitting streak to 25 games, the longest streak of the year in the majors, and the longest ever for Carew in the Angels. Rod Carew, not the power-hungry sort, took right fielder Dwight Evans by surprise. Deep to right, right, and down, Rod Carew. A seven-time batting champ, swinging with revitalized vim and vigor. 29 hits in 15 games to lead the majors, not to mention 15 RBIs and a not-too-shabby 453 batting average. Walk up to home plate, uh, I know what I want to do with a certain pitch, and I react right away. Uh, some guys walk up to home plate, they have no idea what they want to do, so they make an easy out for themselves. Onus Wagner, Ty Cobb, and they talk about Stan Musial and Ted Williams and some of the great hitters, and they throw my name in there. You know, these are guys that I grew up uh, reading about and, and admiring from afar. And to have people talk about me in the same breath uh, you know, gives me a, a tremendous feeling. Waiting for Carew to get 3,000 right here. There's a drive to left field, base hit. There's number 3,000 for Carew. Uh, I don't think there can be anything more gratifying, though, than when you have the opposing players uh, that come up to you and want to talk to you about hitting, want, want to get your advice or your expertise and uh, try to help them out as far as hitting is concerned.